What's up, nerds? I've got a fun little word problem here that's going to require us to create an algebraic equation in order for us to be able to solve it. A student has scores of 72, 89, 65, and 98 on her algebra tests. Find the scores she must get on her final exam to pass the course with a mean score of 78 or higher, given that the final exam contributes two scores. Write your answer as an inequality. Now this is a fun little problem because it requires us to understand how to construct an algebraic equation, but also what an inequality is and what the mean is. Now, whenever we do a word problem, it's a good idea to read through the question again and find out exactly what it is it asks us to do. So, a student has scores of 72, 89, 65, and 98 on her algebra tests. Find the scores she must get on her final exam to pass the course with a mean score of 78 or higher. Mean score, 78 or higher. Given that the final exam contributes two scores, write your answer as an inequality. Okay. So, the mean score overall, including the two results on the exam, has to be at least 78. So we can use the formula for the mean of a set of values to calculate this. The mean is equal to the sum of all of the values over the number of values. Now using the information that we've just highlighted, we know that the mean is 78 or higher. So we can write the mean is 78 and this is as low as the mean can be. So what we calculate for the mean should be greater than or equal to this lower bound of 78. So we have the sum of all values over n. Now, 78 is less than or equal to well, I have some of the values. 72, 89, 65, and 98 adds up to 324. But the final exam contributes another two scores. We don't know what this student got on the final exam. So we're going to call this value unknown, x for unknown. But the final exam contributes two scores, so she's going to get two unknown scores. So in this case, we have to add in these two values to the full set of results. So we're going to add these two unknown values. Divided by n, which is the total number of values. Well, we have two here, three, four, five, six. Now we have divided by six on this side, divided by six taken over to the other side becomes times six, and we get six times 78 is less than or equal to 324 plus two x. Positive 324 becomes take 324, and six times 78 is 468, so we have 468 minus 324, and 2x left on the right hand side. 468 minus 324 is 144. Between the 2 and the x is a times. The opposite of times is divide, so we take this 2 over the other side. 144 divided by 2 gives us 72 is less than or equal to x. So if we rewrite this now in order for us to understand what x has to be equal to, we get therefore x 
Now, the open end of the inequality symbol is on x's side, so if I rewrite this the other way around, I have to preserve this situation. So the open end on the same side as x, we can see that there, so x is greater than or equal to 72. Now, a word problem gets a word answer, so now we would say she must get at least 72 for each of the scores on her final. And that's it. I hope you found that helpful.